Hi Lego Harry Potter, I'm back with another insult. You're a little old to be at a playground. What are you, a pedophile or something? <laughs> Shut up. Or are you looking for a new mommy? Why would that be? Dudley, I swear to God. Is it cause she's dead? Is mommy dead? <laughs> Thanks a million. Stay safe, and I'll see you next insult. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not doing anything! Oh, God, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Hurry! I didn't know you could fly! Dudley, run, you fat idiot! Is that you, Dudleykins? Oh, Dudley, who did this to you, my dear? That's it! I've had it! Every year you and your fucking wizard twats fuck up our summer. I'm done! You're never going back to that bloody school! Hey, who the hell are you? Oh, no. Is mommy dead? You're going back to that bloody school! Professor Moody? Wizards I've never met before? What are you doing here? Well, rescuing you, of course! Come on, grab your trunk! Can we please stop referencing the other parodies and get out of here? Anybody see the dead bodies, they're gonna pin the blame on me. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I oh. am the <laughs> Super Lego Man Wrong house. Super Zero. Please enjoy the film. Rice, this should be it. Whoa, is this some kind of top secret wizard hangout? What? Ah, uh, no, it's just a house, man. Ooh, that was an even worse reference than mine. Hi, how are you? Ron, Hermione, Lupin, Gary? What are you all doing here? What is this place? Welcome to the Order of the Phoenix, Harry. We are a secret organization that fights and protects others from Voldemort. And this is my old family house. I offered it to Dumbledore as our secret headquarters and safe house. Why would anyone want to stay in this old rat-infested hellhole? I mean, you say that, but like, this place is still more sanitary than our house. Alright, but why am I here though? We're trying to protect you from the Ministry. Cornelius Fudge isn't in his right mind. He refuses to admit that Voldemort has returned. We're afraid he's going to silence you. God damn, are you fucking serious? Me and Lupin? <laughs> no, 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 that would be all. no. I'm, I'm pretty I, sure I I'm dating Tonks. Illegal. Let's forget about that, Harry. It's time for you to go to Court of Arthur and defend yourself. I'll remain quiet for the rest of the movie. Goodbye. Look at us. We're just like Doctor Who. Who? Exactly, Harry. I watched it on the Muggle Vision box. <laughs> Harry, best of luck in there. I'd go with you, but to be honest, I don't care enough. Just remember to remain calm. I'm sure your case won't be that bad. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Cornelius Fudge. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final. This is Judge Cornelius. Disciplinary hearing on the 12th of August for the crimes committed by Harry James Potter, resident at 4 Privet Drive. Wait, your middle name is James? That is fucking weird, man. Might as well just shove Lily in there, too. Harry James Lily Fuckwit Potter, stupid name, I'm glad they're dead. Ahem, your holiness, the trial? What? Oh, yes, right. <clears throat> You are being charged for knowingly producing a Patronus in the presence of a muggle. Do you deny this, Mr. Potter? No, but I- 
Are you aware that it is forbidden to use magic while underage outside of school? Yes, but as I- Is it also true that you used Lumus Maxima to read Fifty Shades Darker two parodies ago? Oh, come on. That's out of context. Well, since you've clearly admitted your guilt, and since no one has any evidence protecting Harry, I say we convict- Not so fast, Fudsicle. I do believe it was you yourself who said Hudson produced a Patronus, a spell used to fend off a Dementor. There's no proof of Dementors attacking. Well, I'm sorry, what else would Herbert be using a Patronus for? Well, I'm sorry. Maybe he's using it as a light to read Fifty Shades Freed. Oh, come on, dude. Anyways, the verdict still stands. All in favor of convicting Harry? Hmm, time to use my secret weapon. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, anyone who thinks Homer is guilty is gay. Uh, Not guilty. Innocent, innocent, I innocent, 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 I see dead people. <sighs> Great! That lasted all of five seconds. Who the hell even is this chick? This is Luna Lovegood. She's been around for a while, but she doesn't really interact with people. When you think about it, Dumbledore actually has two Elder Wands. Eh, yeah, I wonder why. Good evening, students. I have a couple staff changes to inform you about. Firstly, Professor Grubbly Plank will be returning to his care of magical creatures position while Hagrid is on temporary leave. I would also like to welcome our new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. <laughs> I've also been asked by Mr. Filch to remind you all to please stop reading his diary. Apparently he's very sensitive about his feelings or something stupid like that. Jesus Christ, woman. What the hell do you want? I would just like to say that I'm sure we're all going to get along very well with one another, but there's going to be a lot of changes around here. And if you don't like it, I will kill you. Savagely. <laughs> right. Well, that killed the mood. Off to bed, everyone. You all want to be well rested for classes tomorrow. And don't let me get you out of bed, or you'll get to me my knife. How come all of our Defense Against the Dark Arts teachers are insane? How come the school hasn't been shut down yet? Huh, so this is what a classroom looks like. Interesting. Ahem! Alright students, there will be no wands used in this class. All we're going to be doing is reading. But that's barbaric! How do we protect ourselves if we're not physically learning how to defend ourselves? Why are you complaining? I thought you loved reading. My dear, who would ever wish to hurt young children like yourself? I... I don't know. Maybe Voldemort, you dumb cow! The Dark Lord has not returned, Mr. Potter! These are all made-up stories! That's right. I'm not back. You'll never convince them, Harry. I only exist in your head. You're going insane, Harry. Voldemort's over there! I can't take this shit no more, man! Well! It would seem to me that this place needs a lot more control. Effective immediately, I am installing myself as High Inquisitor. Wait, you can't do that. I can do whatever the fuck I want to you, little shit! Let this happen. 
There's a war coming, and if our professors can't do anything, we need you to teach us how to protect ourselves. What are you talking about, Hermione? I know, like, one spell. That's still more than I know. But Harry, please, a lot of people are behind you on this. We're willing to learn. Alright, but even if I did teach you guys, we can't just form clubs with Umbridge watching us. And it's not like we're just going to find some top secret room that no one knows about. Guys, I just found some top secret room that no one knows about. Neville, you've done it. This place is perfect. This place would make a nice rape dungeon. Jesus! Come on, Luna! I know you still have that dildo, Harry. So you see, th there's this, this is show is called The uh -huh, Bad Batch, uh -huh, and it's pretty yeah, popular. Hey, guys, are you seeing this? The Prophecy. Show me where it is, Potter. I will find it, Potter! Oh, you're all right, Harry. Looking a little scared there. Hagrid, where have you been? Oh, you know, just working on me album and trying to get the giants on our side, innit? Wait, what was that? Oh, me album. It's fucking mint, it is. Loads of great songs on it. No, not the album. The thing about giants. Are you sure you don't want to hear about me album? It's got such classic songs as Rags to Riches and The Come Zone. It's coming out real soon, it is. And you can download it on Spotify. God damn it, we don't care about your album, Hagrid. Just tell us about the giants. Alright, fine. Well, with the war coming, we figured we'd try and get the giants on our side. And since I'm half giant, Dumbledore sent me. Okay, and what was the outcome? Did the giants side with us? Nah, they told me to fuck off. Bright side, though, I found out I have a brother. Hi, everybody! Actually, turns out I have a lot of brothers. Me mum were a bit of a slapper back in her day. All right, okay, then we're gonna go back to class. Good luck with this thing. What was the point in that scene? Womp, you like me album, don't you? Um... Oh, fuck you two then, you bloody twat. Excellent work, everyone. Remember to keep your arms straight and your voices clear. I can't believe how well this is going. We might actually get away with this. Yes, so long as no one does anything stupid, we should be fine. Bombada! Wait, no, 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 no! Student-led clubs? I banned those! How dare you all! There will be serious punishment for all of you! Fitch, get the chains! God fucking damn it, Ron! You know what, Georgie? I think it's about time you and I teach Umbridge a lesson. I was thinking about the same thing, Freddy. I told you, sir! Dumbledore has been training an army in secret so he can overthrow the Ministry! This is unacceptable, Dumbledore! We turn a blind eye to all the child murders and health violations here, but this... This is treason! You're coming with me to Azkaban! Yes, I see your point. But allow me to counter-argue that with SMOKE POP! <laughs> did... did he just jump to his death? No, that is not until the next part. That sounds like laughter! Not in my damn school! Ooh, what is this stuff? This stuff is unicorn cum. And a little known fact about it, Santa has found it very arousing. Horny? Horny? Horny! Horny, 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 What's wrong? Voldemort's got Gary. He's gonna kill him. We need to get to the Ministry right now. How the bloody hell are we gonna do that? Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. That room. Let's go. All right, everyone. Keep your eyes open for Gary. Harry, this orb's got your name on it. He that is born at the end of July. Only one can live and the other will die. The Dark Lord will mark him as equal. Who prevails is to be determined in a sequel. 
end of July, that could have been me. No, it couldn't. No one cares about you. Ah, Potter. Hey, the Potter. What an unexpected surprise. And by unexpected, I mean completely expected. Where's Gary? What a foolish boy. He isn't here. The Dark Lord tricked you into seeing what he wanted you to see. Now hand over the prophecy. Stupefy! My way! Run! Back to the exit! What is this thing? <laughs> Great times over, Porter. Now, give me the prophecy, or you and you, all your friends shall die today. Step away from my godson. Oh shit! Oh my god, Harry, I'm so sorry. This might get messy! Eat shit, you little bastard! I'm a fuck to mess up. <laughs> oh shit! Hey guys, I'm alive again! Avada Kedavra! <laughs> I know! Not Cedric! So sad! Ha! You missed me, you stupid witch! <laughs> Harry, she deserves it. She killed Gary. Kill her! I know you want to. Do it! Just do it! Shia, stop! I told you I was doing this! So pathetic and weak. You won't survive this time, Potter. Wait a second. This isn't the bingo hall. Oh. Bollocks. You are foolish to show up tonight, Timothy. The Aurors will soon be here. Let them come. By the time they arrive, I'll be long gone. And you'll be dead. <laughs> ah, Jesus fucking Christ! Some of the glass got in my fucking eye! He's back. My favorite hot dog vendor! He's back! Oh, and Voldemort too, I guess. I'm sorry for ignoring you all year, Hugo. I thought that by distancing from you, Voldemort would be less tempted to enter your mind. But aren't you the only person he's afraid of? Wouldn't you being around be enough to scare him off? Don't question it, Hitler. All you need to know is I had your best intentions at heart. I truly do care about you. Luna, will you got them spying on us? What? No, I was, um, looking for... for my shoes. Bro, that chick's weird. I've been thinking, even though we've got a fight ahead of us, we've got something Voldemort doesn't. Yeah? What's that? Something worth fighting for. Love. What are you, gay? I wasn't talking to you, Ginger. I don't think we're gonna beat Voldemort this way. If you think you can graduate from this school without kissing my cock, <laughs> you are dead wrong.